Welcome to our STEMP training videos. Let's briefly go over the main components of this open access teaching method created by US Mix Fusion. STEMP has four main components, class facilitation, scenarios, guest speakers, and portfolios. It is important to note that all components are managed by the students. The class facilitation is led by students. The scenarios are created and performed by students. Guest speakers are identified and invited by students, and the portfolios are designed and compiled by students. These can be either hard copy or e-portfolios and even blogs. We have seen in multiple pilot courses that these four components empower students in a successful manner. Before we get into the details of the four components, we would like to offer a caveat. We have piloted this method successfully in over 20 classrooms at both public and private higher education institutions. But integrating these four components at the same time may represent a big change for you and your students. So you do not have to incorporate all four simultaneously. You can choose to pilot two or three at a time or even just start with one. The first component is class facilitation, led by students. This component is probably the most important of all. Empowering students means letting them learn. We let them learn autonomously, so they are prepared to facilitate a class and topic. Empowering students also means letting them do so that they take responsibility of the teaching and learning process for themselves and their classmates. We also need to let the students be. We let them be so that they are able to tap into their individual aptitudes previous knowledge and creativity without the teacher stepping in until needed. When students facilitate classes, there are three parts, presentation, an interactive activity, and a printed activity. For the presentation, students are in charge of presenting and teaching a topic of the day assigned by the teacher. For the interactive activity, students create and facilitate an activity that is interactive and that engages all of their classmates. Finally, they prepare and print a handout or sheet with one or two exercises that reinforce the topic learned. They walk around the room and monitor and help their classmates while they work on the activity. It is important to emphasize here that if students have a textbook, they can use the textbook as a source to prepare their presentation and materials, but it must not be the only source. Students are encouraged to find the best resources to facilitate their given topics. If we as teachers give students all of the resources, how can they develop the competencies they require to distinguish valuable and useful information in an information society? We recommend teams of five students, 50 minutes per class with two team presentations per week. But this can, of course, be modified based on your institution's needs and your class's needs. Scenarios are a very important component of STEMP. Students prepare a script and act out scenarios representing real-life situations where they are applying the knowledge and skills acquired and developed over the previous three weeks. Scenarios promote student creativity and innovation. We recommend teams of three students, three to five minute scenarios, and one scenario every three weeks. Guest speakers. Students and teams must identify and invite a speaker from the community to come to class. Students must prepare a 40-minute panel where they interact with the guest speaker focusing on a specific topic in a way that it brings an international or an intercultural perspective about the topic or topics that have been covered in class. We recommend one guest speaker every two weeks. For student portfolios, as part of the course, students keep a portfolio of all the activities and materials in class. It is individual work and can be either a hard copy portfolio or an e-portfolio. It may even take the shape of a blog based on student preference. Once a month, there is an instructor or peer assessment of the portfolios. Here's a visual of the four components structured in a calendar. The picture you see represents the first month of classes. This particular example assumes that class is daily, meeting Monday through Friday, and that it is a 50-minute class. You can see that starting week two, students facilitate classes twice a week. After three weeks, all students perform a scenario. Every two weeks, there is a guest speaker, and every four weeks, there is a partial assessment or review of student portfolios. The days where there is no colored circle are open for the teacher to work on particularly complex topics, give time to students so they prepare their presentations, scenarios, and portfolios with the assistance of the instructor. Or they can reinforce topics that have been presented by students previously, do some activities in the textbook if a textbook is being used, they can check homework, etc. We'd like to make a note here that if there is a textbook students are required to use, the textbook is used mainly at home. Some important notes for the instructor. Strict enforcement of the following is imperative. 
discipline and respect. Students must be courteous and show respect for the teacher and their peers at all times. There must be a strict coherence between what the teacher says and does. We can't just talk the talk, we must walk the walk. Time management must be learned and deadlines must be met. Students need to learn these important skills. There may be student resistance when it comes to the way the class is run. As teachers, we must stand our ground and ask for the students to trust in the method and in us. They will see the benefits in a few short weeks. As we know, as teachers, we must not give favoritism to students. In this method, there is no place for teachers' pets. All students must be treated equally without question. Of course, there are always circumstances that can be addressed on a case-by-case -case basis, but those should be few and far between. Without these five conditions, STEMP might not be successfully implemented. If you consider yourself as a complacent or an extra nice teacher, we do not recommend this method for your classroom. Instructors interested in piloting STEMP in their classes are encouraged to work at least in pairs or groups of three. Preparing, implementing, and observing these classes gives room for continuous feedback and peer support. Thank you for learning about the four main components of STEMP and thank you for your attention. For more information, please visit our website, www.usmexfusion.org, or email us at info at usmexfusion.org.